Hi, welcome to Shogini Systems. No code, low code and code automation solutions providers. And today we are going to see a very interesting, very easy to make social media image post generation system using make.com. We'll use a tool called Placid and we will also use Google Sheets as the input. Remember everything that I'm demonstrating here is available for you to download as a PDF document for you to easily refer and build such, a, such an automation system for your use. Okay, so now today's automation is going to make a post like this. Okay, so now this is the image post that we are going to create and we have already created a template that can be used uh, for this automation. So in the template, we are only changing this text through the automation. Everything else is pre designed, pre added to the template. You have the liberty to change these items and decide if they're dynamic or permanent. Another thing that we are doing in this automation is, okay, so there's a background image that you are seeing here is also altered. So there is every post will have a unique background image. So that is the automation, the simple automation, but very useful. So you can automate your social media posts based on your topics of interest, etc. So let's see how the scenario looks. So this is how the senior scenario looks. Uh, so here we have the Google Sheets where we pick the questions and answers. Then we have certain settings like background image, etc. We pick it from another sheet. And we call the Placid tool to create the image. Then we write the image back to uh, Google Sheet. Okay, so what we will do is we will first see it's working. Then I will open each item and explain how it's done. Okay, so before we do that, let's look at the uh, Google Sheets and see how it looks. Okay, so here we have a Google Sheet where we have a Q and A tab. And there we have a topic, question and answer. So in, in this, we will use only the question and answer from this sheet. Okay. And then we have a settings page where we pick the random background image from here, from this column. How this becomes random? That is our automation, very simple automation. How we are doing this is also provided in the documentation. So here, here on this cell, we have a formula which picks a random row from this pixel images tab. So if you look at pixel images tab, we have five background images saved from pixels. You can increase this to 50 or 100 or more image URLs from pixel, save it here. And here it'll randomly pick this formula that we have provided here gets executed every time the cell is updated. So you see, see here, now this is the image that we have here. I'm updating the cell. See the image has changed. So if I, you can check here, see every time this sheet is updated, the formula gets executed and it picks up a new random image. Now, so how, how do we ensure that the sheet stays updated? Uh, we have used an arbitrary cell where we attach a script and the script is also available for you to download via the community section. So this script is what, what is updating the cell every minute. Okay. So this is the formula that we are executing every minute. Okay. So let's, let's come back. So for this automation, we will use this Q and A and settings uh, sheet tabs. So let's come back to our scenario and let's run it and see the image generation in action first. Okay, it picked up. It picked up a question, how can I stay motivated? Surround yourself, surround yourself with positive influences. Okay, so, and here it picked up the uh, random background image, send the information to Placid and Placid has generated the image and it has updated the Google Sheet. So if you see here, 
you will notice that a new image has been created. See how can I stay motivated and the image is generated. Okay, so now let's browse and see how it looks. Now here, if you see spreadsheet ID, uh, update row, row 1, Q and A, A3. So this is the question and answer sheet where we are going to generate the image post and say we will save it here. So here you can see we have already two images saved. We will run the scenario again and see this getting filled up. Okay, so let's check the thing image URL. Okay, so we are going to run it once. Okay, so it picked up the question answer question. What roles does failure play? Failure is a stepping stone to success. Okay, it's a very interesting one. Uh, it picked up a random background image from here and uh, Placid generated the post. Let's copy this image and we have updated the uh, Excel sheet. See, see here, third image has come. Let's copy it and browse and see how it looks. Okay, what role does failure play? Failure is a stepping stone to success. Such posts are very useful. So you add your value, your knowledge to uh, in the social media world using such image posts, which have tremendous potential. And it is very easy to make and very easy to post it to social media. So uh, you can connect to your um, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, all these accounts to this and post this image. Now, how do we create these questions? You can type your questions and answers here or you can automate that with another make.com automation. The video link we will provide in the description. So now what we will do is we will go over each scenario item and see how it's created. So let's look at the PDF document that describes how to set up such a scenario. So here we have the complete picture of the scenario. Here we have the complete picture of the scenario the Excel Google Sheet information, we have the Q&A tab, settings tab, and the output of this scenario. And then we have the module and each module setting is given in the documentation. So very easy for you to refer. So remember to join the community section, definitely. And also please like, share and subscribe and give your valuable comments what changes you want to see in, in these videos and also what new videos that you want to and what new videos you want us to create. If you join our community, you will also learn how to create your own make.com modules for your company. Okay, so everything is given in this document. So now let's look at each of these items. What is the first item? Picking a question and answer from the sheet. So you need to connect your uh, uh, module to Google Sheets, very simple. You pick the Google uh, search sheets module and click add and it will ask you to log into your Google account. Now here we are ensuring that the image is empty because that is the row that we, are, we need to be used so that we can fill the image URL. So we pick a row where there is no image so we can populate it and we pick just one row from there. Then here we pick the settings sheet and pick one row so that we get the background image URL. Then in, in, then in Placid, we send the image name and send a text. That is all, just two values we send it to Placid. We will see how that works. And then Placid generates the image and then we uh, get the image URL and saves it and we uh, save it back to the same row that we got in this first place. So that same row gets the image name. Now let's quickly see the Placid system. Okay, so this is the Placid interface. I have logged in and this is my account and I have some projects. Okay, so I have some projects and I have used this Shogini 2 template. So if you, if you see here in Placid, you can choose the template that you are designing. So whatever template that you, you are designing there will be available for you to choose from. Okay, so on this template, if you click edit, you will notice that 
there are several items arranged as layers okay so here we have a, a layer here we have a layer so all these are different layers that we can define but if you see here uh, some cases for instance the title you can change if you want because that is dynamic that is defined as see this element is dynamic this element so you can decide which element you want to make it uh, dynamic and those dynamic elements are available for you to fill in there see it image layer image layer all the dynamic elements you can change if you want you can override the template so that way you have complete control over the design time elements which can be altered using the automation phase so that is this short video on how to make image posts okay so please remember like and share and give your valuable comments and see you again and remember to join our community as well so that we can learn together Bye-bye.